Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one of the features that Premiere Pro has finally gotten in the latest version, and that is the ability to nudge clips in the program monitor using the keyboard. So in CS6, what we were given was the ability to move a clip by double clicking on it. And if I just come here, you'll see I can drag it. And that's nice and helpful. But the problem was if you wanted to do really small incremental changes, you couldn't do it. But now you'll notice by just using the down key on my keyboard, I can use my keyboard, and now I'm using the right key, to make very subtle incremental adjustments. So let me just reset the position of this clip and I'll show you how it works. So basically I'm gonna come over this clip and I'll just again double click and as long as my program monitor is selected you'll notice the outline here then all I have to do is come in here and use my keyboard and use my arrows to just nudge the clip one click at a time. Now if I want to move it in larger increments I could use the shift key and my arrows to move it in even larger increments. So if I look at what's happening here and I come over and twirl down the motion tab, you'll notice if I use my right arrow key, it's moving it one pixel at a time. And if I add the shift key to it, it's moving it 10 pixels at a time. So this is a really nice new feature to be able to move your clips in subtle small increments using the keyboard. So in my opinion, the feature still fails in a few key areas. And let me show you what I mean. If I come on over to this clip stack here, you'll notice I have four layers. And this is when things get a lot more tricky. So if I wanna control which layer I'm selecting, logic would say, okay, you would just select that in the timeline and then you'd be controlling that. And that does reign true if I wanna use the effects control panel to control my clip. But if I wanna just move it in the program monitor, especially using the keyboard, that's not gonna work. So again, I have to double click and you'll notice that I get the topmost layer in the layer stack. And I wanna move that in a way so I could just drag it or of course use the keyboard as is the point of this video. But just for quickness here, I'm just gonna click it and drag it. Second layer, I wanna move that and arrange it the way I want it. Now the third layer, if I were to disable the top two layers using Command Shift E, which is the shortcut for enable, You'll notice I have this small PSD and I just called it small layer to illustrate my point. So let's say I turn those layers back on, Command Shift E, and I want to move that layer. Try to double click, well I get the topmost layer in the layer stack. Click over here and I get the second most layer in the layer stack. So how do I move that layer? If I double click it, it just loads it in the source monitor. Still can't see it over here, but there is a way to do it. So you think, okay, you come into the effects control window and you click on the little motion button here and this little square next to where it says motion will select your layer. Great, so I can now come in here and drag it. But let's say I wanna move it with my keyboard. So I'm gonna redo that process. If I were coming in and wanting to do that with my keyboard, click on it, click on the motion button and wanna move it with my keyboard, uh, that's not gonna work because the program monitor isn't selected. So I click the program monitor and up, oh, now my top clip is selected. So that's kind of a fail, but there is a workaround and let me show you. Click on the small layer, click on the button, and there I have it selected. Now instead of using the mouse to select the program monitor, I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut, which is Shift 4. Now the program monitor is active and that layer is still selected. And now if I move using my arrow keys and the shift key, I'm just gonna move it into view. And it's not so easy, but I can do it. Another way it fails, let's say I wanna move all of these clips and I wanna keyframe them. Let's say I need to animate layers in and out of the program monitor. There's absolutely no way to do this in the new version CS6 or before. And this is something the program desperately needs because editors do this a lot. They have to animate their layers and they have to move them in and out of screen. And again, there is zero way to do this. So please file a feature request with Adobe for this feature because it's super important to a lot of commercials, a lot of film workflows. Not everyone wants to take everything into After Effects to do a simple move of several layers at a time.